YouTube one year later. Well, actually, it's been a year and a half, but I just didn't have time to film this before. So, uh, first of all, dear friends, welcome back. Thank you to all of you who have already subscribed, who are watching my videos and clicking those likes and comments. I have to be honest, I didn't start this channel for money reasons. I wanted to be creative. I wanted to talk about things that I don't have many people in my life that I can talk to about luxury and certain items, especially piercings and things like that. I have friends, of course, we discuss it, but none of my close friends are as obsessed with Jean Vito Rossi shoes and piercings and tattoos uh, as I am. So that was my main reason behind creating this channel and having all these different topics because I never see myself just talking about handbags or just about shoes or just about piercings or tattoos or travel. I wanted to have the outlet for everything that interests me. That's why I explain multiple times that I do create playlists because I of course understand that there are not as many people out there who are interested in all of those topics that interest me. But, you know, it, I enjoy making this. I enjoy filming and editing and creating content for you guys. But it's a slow process. Like I said, I'm not in this for money. But obviously, I wouldn't mind if down the line I would actually be able to earn something from this because it is hard work. Don't believe it for a second that it's not. So if you're on the side who are thinking maybe I should start a YouTube channel, I will tell you my journey. say as of this moment I am about halfway slightly over halfway to reach monetization on YouTube. To get monetized in YouTube you need 1000 subscribers and then you have to have either 4000 public hours watched of your videos or 10 million of shorts and all of that has to happen either in one year or in 90 days for short videos. It's a pretty steep numbers to reach. If you are planning to do, like me, just one video a week, it will probably take years. I mean, for me, like I said, it's a year and a half and I'm still halfway there and I am making videos every week. I think I lost two Sundays since I started because once I was sick and the other one I was in Cannes and I didn't plan good enough so I just didn't have time to put the video out that specific week and it still it takes a long time and that is a lot to do with YouTube's algorithm because the more views you have the more likes the more comments the more often YouTube will recommend your video to people who are searching for that specific topic so you know you can kind of dive into mathematics and try to find how to make your videos more visible I guess but at the bottom line is that whatever you do, you have to enjoy it. There is no point of doing this and just thinking, oh, in, in three years time, I'm going to be monetized and I'm going to earn a lot of money. This is not how it works, because especially at the beginning, it's going to be just you. I imagine some, you know, time down the line, I might have at least one person helping me. But for now, it's just me. So I have to film, I have to edit, I have to come up with the ideas, I have to make my room, you know, filmable, <laughs> change the backgrounds and try to, you know, create photos for the videos for Instagram as well, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on the time. And, you know, keep it in mind that I have full-time job on the side that it's very demanding. I am a TV and radio presenter and that's not a nine to five job. Sometimes I would be, you know, working 12 hours a day. Other times I would be up at 3 a.m. Then I would do a night shift on the radio. So <laughs> it's a crazy life. So bottom line is whatever you decide to do with your channel, you have to enjoy making it. Otherwise you're going to go insane. And second of all, don't like don't put yourself under pressure because I know there were some times when I was like well maybe if I put out two videos a week maybe then the numbers would start rolling faster but I cannot put two videos out I have too much work to do as it is I don't have any free weekends I'm either filming YouTube or I'm working on the radio which you know it's fine because I love my job but down the line you do need some time off as well and it's not all about just kind of like working 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 so I try to still balance my life between TV and radio and YouTube and you know of course my friends and my free time and travel and things like that so I, I this year I really went into planning I didn't plan as much last year I was a bit I was kind of improvising I guess now I'm trying to plan as as much as I can like when I know that I have a free weekend which actually happens 
sometimes <laughs> I would film like three videos on Saturday and then just edit one on Sunday and edit one the next Sunday so I still have some free time but again it's just you know it's one video a week so I kind of made my piece that it's going to take some time before I reach that monetization but like I said that's not my goal but of course I will be happy when I reach that milestone I hope I'll reach it I don't know what will happen in the next years but for now I still have energy I still have kind of like uh, the urge to film to create to talk to you guys and I want to thank all the subscribers that I already have because every one of you means a world to me there's a lot of work that goes into these videos even if sometimes when I'm just like talking to you like now you think well what's the big deal you just set the camera up and record but like I said it's just me so I have to think about everything from the outfits from the lighting from the setting from the editing and then the description the photos you know how it goes it takes a lot of time even videos like this one which are by YouTube standards quite simple so if you do want to start YouTube channel don't put it off until tomorrow just you know grab your phone and start I was filming with my iPhone for the first year I only got the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera after one year because I said to myself if I'm still wanting to film if I still feel the urge to have that kind of creativity after one year then I gave myself permission to buy uh, a pretty expensive camera my next plan is to get a better zoom so I can actually be slightly further from you because for now if I go further than that then the sound is not okay but I don't want to spend too much on equipment before I'm not 100% sure that this is what I want to do for the next years and years and for now we are only a year and a half in and for now I still love it so my advice to you as somebody who started recently but still gain quite a lot of experience now in this YouTube world plan your videos ahead before you put out the first video make five or six and when you have those edited then start your channel because I just put the first one out and I was like hey, my first video and then it was like okay I don't have time to film the next one and the week is already here so <laughs> I created crazy pressure on myself by myself nobody will bug you nobody will force you to film so it's a lot of about self-control you have to manage your work of course if you want to do this seriously not just an odd video here and there and make shorts shorts are a very good way to gain maybe new followers put something on the short video maybe something that it's not for a longer video or just to kind of tell a short video what you're going to do in the longer video this is how I have been doing in the last few months kind of putting out shorts and especially I do for example in my longer videos I will talk about oh, them <laughs> So my videos will be about luxury, about um, handbags, shoes, piercings, tattoos, travel, films. I love films. I go to film festivals, especially Cannes and Venice every year. If you haven't seen any of those videos, I'm going to link it up there. And then I would like put shorts out about my dogs because I have two German Shepherds and they are crazy. They are always running around, so it's very difficult to film them. But with short films, it's okay because, you know, you can, it can only be 15 seconds. And I mainly create shorts for either announcing like I said what I'm gonna film next or just you know showing you my lovely crazy dogs their names are Lee and Lou and they are sisters I call them crazy sisters but of course I love them to the end of the world and beyond before I leave you for today I'm gonna just talk about technical part of it I edit with iMovie which is not the best editor in the world but if you have Mac it's free so for me for now that's okay there are certain things that really bug me in iMovie that I cannot do like for example I always loved when I'm like talking to you like this and then you would have one video or photo come from this side and the other one from this side or and kind of like crisscross and stuff you cannot do that in iMovie you only have two tracks so you can only you know have it here or across the whole screen but you cannot have like multiple tracks and that kind of bugs me and there are other small issues that I don't really like about iMovie but they're minor in general you can create good enough videos with iMovie especially at the beginning when you're not earning anything so don't spend too much it's good to have a good phone at least for the first let's say first year or maybe if you're planning to do this full time then maybe you will have to upgrade your camera ring light computers and things like that sooner but for me the way I can imagine my entry into YouTube I waited a whole year before I actually got a camera so all my videos for the first year are filmed with phones uh, 
it's obvious in some of the videos that it's foam but in others because the lighting was perfect it's this almost the same quality as the camera so you know don't disregard your smartphone because you can do a lot with it especially at the beginning when you're not earning anything back from your videos so if you're gonna start your journey let me know i will make sure that i am one of your first subscribers when you do and again please do subscribe to my channel like this video comment ask me anything you want to know as always thank you for watching have a lovely day and i will see you in the next video